Hello, Nicholas Dodge here. Today we will talk about the lion of the Jurassic, Allosaurus. Its name means different lizard. It was named so because its vertebrae were different from any other dinosaur known at the time of its discovery in 1877. Allosaurus lived in the United States during the late Jurassic period, about 150 million years ago. Fragments of Allosaurus bones have also been discovered in Portugal and Tanzania. A mature Allosaurus grew up to 30 feet long and weighed around 3 tons. It was smaller than T-Rex, but was still a ferocious adversary. Allosaurus was a carnivore. It was armed with long claws and knife-like teeth, which it used with deadly efficiency. Allosaurus also had long arms, ending with hooked claws, which it may have used to grasp its prey. In a sense, Allosaurus was the king of the dinosaurs before T-Rex. It lived about 85 million years before T-Rex was around, and it was also an apex predator, ruling wherever it went. Allosaurus probably preyed on a wide variety of dinosaurs, including the armored stegosaurs, the small bipedal herbivores, and even the giant sauropods. How could Allosaurus take down an animal that was ten times the size of an elephant? Discoveries in locations like the Cleveland Loy Quarry in Utah, which have bones of over 40 Allosaurus, strongly imply that this theropod hunted in packs. Using their blade-like teeth and long, hooked claws, Allosaurus would work together to overwhelm even the largest dinosaurs. Another find shows that Allosaurus had a surprisingly weak bite. Its bite was less powerful than that of a lion, despite being much larger. As a result, it is believed that Allosaurus may have used its head like an axe, slamming its upper jaw into its prey and tearing off flesh with its teeth. Life for Allosaurus was also hazardous, as shown in many fossils. An Allosaurus pelvic bone was found with a huge puncture wound made by a Stegosaurus' tail spike. Another fossil shows a jaw that was literally shattered. There's even a complete Allosaurus skeleton in Wyoming that showcased other injuries. Nicknamed Big Al, this specimen suffered several injuries and diseases, including broken ribs, a fractured arm, and a raging infection in the middle toe of his right foot. What's even more incredible is that many of these injuries showed signs of healing. Stay tuned for the next dinosaur. This is Mr. Dodge, signing off.